Okay, this is the coolest thing ever. Welcome back to the Big Aussie Adventure. You join us today in Austinville. It is a scorcher of a day and we're about maybe half an hour inland or so. It wasn't too far for us to drive, but we found the cutest little tiny home that we're gonna go explore. I've never done this before, but this is how we're gonna check in. Press that. Yeah, we have arrived. This is our lockbox where you will collect the keys for the wee tiny and the gate. The little lockbox yep. matches. The there it is. <laughs> It's like not that much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This place is really cool. Check this out. Look where it is. That's the creek right there. I can't believe this. So this is it. Like <laughs> very different to the one we stayed at last time. Made of literally I think that must be old roofs, right? Corrugated yeah, tin corrugated is old iron, roofs. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then, but look over here. So you've got the tiny, but then they've built like this whole little outdoor space onto it. Yeah, right. They said we can go swimming in the creek or we can go swimming in the hot tub slash plunge pool. Well, it's not swimming, is it? It's like well, it's sitting and drinking some wine. I'm kind of fascinated by how we keep this warm. Is there somewhere where to put, what is this? Oh, I see. Okay. So I guess you start a fire in there and the water passes, passes through it, maybe? I don't know. It's like the cutest little old Queenslander. But it's tiny. Like, this is one end. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, so is the kitchen outdoors? Yes. Come on, up here. So this is the kitchen? That's the kitchen, yeah. <laughs> They've taken up the entire house with a bed and a bath, so the kitchen is outside. This is our living room. Yep. <laughs> this is the fire, and there's the firewood. Oh look, what's this? Fire starters. Wow. So this is what we'll light tonight, our little fireplace. So these are all vintage doors and windows. From other properties, yeah. I guess. Yeah, they're all like reclaimed, vintage, antique. There's heaps of like antique furniture and everything. like. Obviously, this is, you know, not brand new. Yeah. And it just gives this, like, such a cool little rustic charm. Oh, I Look really this. like this. Huge farmhouse sink. It's bigger than all we have at home. Oh, my gosh. That's what I'm going to make us dinner on. <laughs> I don't know how to use this. <laughs> okay, so this is the refrigerator, a tiny little ice box. Yeah. Which... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's cold. Yeah, that's a bit cold. So that's a little, like, kind of portable fridge which I guess is powered by solar, fire and stuff, sink, fresh water. Is there fresh water in there? Yeah, that's fresh. That's nice. That's the key for the house. It says exterior. And that's the door key. Shake. Good girl. Let's get you a snack. I don't know if this is normal in other countries, but in Australia, we have snacks that are made of kangaroo. <laughs> Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks very much, Daddy. The light's really nice, so I think I'm going to take up the drone real quick. Normally I would intro this as it's time for one of Piers totally awesome, super amazing, teeny tiny 
house, house tours. tours. <laughs> but we can pretty much see the whole house tour from this angle. So we might as well just get started. It's a tour express. <laughs> <laughs> so if you come in, this has just such amazing grandeur because it's got really tall peaked ceilings. Mm. Then on this side here, you've got a nice queen size bed. It touches one wall and then touches the other wall. I think that's a common thing with all of these tiny homes. They all seem to be the same width as the bed is long. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. That's right. And this one is on wheels as well. I didn't realise until I just had a quick look. It's still a tiny home on wheels. Yes. I'm not sure how easy it is to move given the entire veranda situation. True. But in a pinch, I guess if you move. Yeah, you, you could just figure it out. I'm sure you'd figure it out. Yeah. And then this. So instead of doing like the kitchen and the living space inside, they've done that on the veranda. And here instead, you've got this incredibly luxurious bathroom situation going on. So you've got like a, like an antique freestanding bath. Yeah. And then here you can kind of close these curtains, have a shower, open up the windows, you know, shower in amongst nature, looking out onto the creek. That's your view out there if you're having a shower, which is kind of cool. Everything is like beautiful. So like everything is just styled so perfectly and has like this beautiful kind of country charm to it. Then in here I had a little sneak peek. That's all our like essentials. Nice. All the things we need. All this to stuff looks antique as well. Look at these glasses. I, I reckon this is all antiques. And then you've got this tiny little barn door. Like normally these barn doors are really, really wide. And <laughs> this, this one's time. like a sliver of a barn door. And through there you've got the bathroom. Brilliant. So like most tiny homes, this is quite uh, limited when it comes to electricity. We just have one light there and one light there. We've got a fire there should it get too chilly. And we've got a plunge pool there if it gets too hot. So yeah, this is where we're going to be for the next couple of days. So I also noticed because there's no official dining area, I think if we pivot these chairs in a little bit, yeah. this will be our little dining spot. Oh, tonight. this is on wheels, so I think we can probably pull oh, it out. Perfect. Put it, Put it about there. Oh my gosh, look! Yep, flip out. Nice. Great. Very, very cool. So I've just found a handwritten note from the owners and they actually left us some local, it says, please enjoy some local honey from our apiarist. And here it is. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test of this. Do you wanna try it? Yes, please. Come here. Well, there's like a bunch of nice teas and stuff here as well. So I'm gonna try a little bit just straight <laughs> and then I'll make us a nice like herbal tea. So that is, that's really nice. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that is really nice. I love that. Just like personal little touches like that make this Airbnb experience so nice. Like you'd never be able to book a hotel that looks no. like this, you know? Like this has clearly been someone's pride and joy, scouring antique stores for the little trinkets and stuff like that. And they've put together something that's like so enchanting. So how much was this, babe? Um, I think I paid 300 bucks per night and you've got to stay a minimum of two nights. It's, it's up there, but it's a really good experience. Well, I feel like they're, they're, tiny as far as homes go but not really as far as hotel rooms go no. when you think about yeah, it true. like we have our own little plunge pool and our own little creek and like a little veranda and all that so if you think about like a hotel room I mean, I think at the end is, of the day you've got a lot of space going on here i think this is a much better experience as well yeah totally it feels like we've got into another time i know i've got a, <laughs> i've got a conference call with christian leblanc at 5 p.m today oh I've have you got no signal so oh, I can't even no. tell him. So, oh, Christian, if you're no. watching this, I'm sorry. Is it cold? No, not at all. So this is fresh creek water, and after each guest, they drain it and fill it with fresh water again, and they use the old water to water their, like, plants and all that sort of stuff for irrigation. So, so it doesn't go to waste at all. Wait, so this is from there? Yes. Oh, by the way, Kane has got a new camera, which mm. is why he's so precious about getting it wet. No, I don't, I don't, I'm very, I'm being very cautious with it right now. Towards the end of last year, I got so many comments of people saying, oh, what's wrong with your camera? The picture looks bad. And I knew it did look bad because I dropped it um, and the front of the lens was like, it was clicky. So I knew that sometimes like the stabilization would go really weird and like a few people were commenting that it was bad. So um, yeah, over the past like three weeks, we stopped vlogging just purely because I'd ordered a load of new camera kit and it all arrived. So as of Friday, the last bit of camera kit got here. 
so that's why we're vlogging today. So it literally, I was just waiting for new cameras. So do you know what you need to do? Mm. Make a whole video saying what's in my camera bag because it's like all new. Yes, I will do that. I've got new cameras, new gimbals, new lenses, new action cams. Actually, an entirely new camera kit. So yeah, I'll do. I'll do a what's in my camera bag. It is 7.30 p.m. Pia is going to cook dinner on <laughs> this little worktop. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go down. I'm going to try and light this fire, which I think is actually going to be quite easy um, because they've given us fire lighters. Do you want to read the instructions? I don't think these things come with instructions, but Yeah, there, there. I know how to start a fire. I'm not an idiot. Let's time this, actually. It is 7.30 on the dot. Let's see how long it takes me to get this fire roaring. All right, this is what I've done so far. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna take the base off, and as you can see, there's some fire lighters under there, and I'm just gonna light it. And then to control the fire, I'll put that back on there like that. That will just get really hot. And if I need to get some extra air in, we can do that. I'm going to open this to let a little bit of oxygen in to get going. And that should start going pretty good in a minute. Also, it is 7.34. I was right, four minutes, Pia. And look at it. Check it out. We're going. finished dinner and we found in the cupboard there's a game of Scrabble. Now I'm a bit of a master at Scrabble so <laughs> we shall see. The peer is about to get her butt kicked so we might as well just put the camera down and... <laughs> We're gonna check back in in about 20 minutes. Yeah we'll so check back. <laughs> Alright 20 <laughs> minutes from now let's see how we go. Okay. <laughs> So I've written Wally, and Pia reckons that's not a name, uh, not a word. I think it's a name, isn't it a name? It's a state of mind. What? No, it's not. Yeah, I think you're a Wally. <laughs> it's not, that's English slang of some sort, but that is not a word, that's a name. Everyone in the comments, if you think Wally is a word, Tell let me Tell me the know. meaning of Wally. That's an idiot. You're such a Wally, it's like plonker. That's also not a word. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wally, Plonka, Pia. They all mean the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fair few up there. The board's pretty full. Pia has all vowels. <laughs> as do I. <laughs> well, this is how the board has ended. 197 to me, 167 to Pia. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, Pia is not a good loser. Uh, anything. She doesn't like losing. It's not in her nature. Damn it. I'm gonna enjoy this win. What are you looking at? Are you looking at mummy? What's she doing down there? <laughs> Is she getting in the creek? Mm hmm? Is she gonna get in the creek? I think she might. Can you stay here and guard the house? Yeah? Jake? Okay, thank you. You stay here. Good girl. Definitely no eels and stuff, right? Nah, no eels. <laughs> It's like it's cold for the first few seconds or yeah. minute and then you kind of get used to it. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> oh, 
Chilly, chilly. Time for some bre breasts. <laughs> it's distracting. <laughs> I meant time for some breakfast. <laughs> So this is our toaster for today and I think we just pop it on there, there's the flame and I'm just going to pop that on there, I think that then just gets hot and then you put your muffins there, 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 there and we should be, we should be good. Okay so it's going to toast one side at a time Yeah. and you basically just have to lean them on there like that and then flip them. I've never seen a toaster like that before. How good is this toaster? <laughs> Wherever there is food, there is a muesli. <laughs> Doing little banana English muffins, and I'm gonna drizzle the honey they gave us Ooh. over the top. Wow! Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little big Aussie adventure vlog of this quaint, gorgeous little tiny house. We're just packing up the car and getting ready to go. So we will say goodbye. If you watch to the end, make sure you comment below because we're going to pick one person to one, not two. <laughs> uh, we're going to pick one person to win a $100 Slinky voucher. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.